The 60% increase of homelessness means that 800 more people in Pima County are now living on the streets or couch surfing. Those most impacted are young people fleeing violent households, drug use, losing a job, and mental illness. In response, Pima County has expanded its options on resources, and Raquel Aguayo is a prime example. I started using methamphetamines May 5th of 2012, and then my journey began. Aguayo is a recovering addict of 11 years. She is now working at the Primavera Men's Shelter where her life has been changed. But before that, she highlights the difficulties she faced. I was on Section 8 and I was in full-blown addiction, but nobody around me really knew. So I get a little bit uh, um, emotional about it, but because I'm still going through the, the difficulties. Aguayo's addiction led her to losing her family, house, and car. Through programs offered in Pima County, she was slowly able to recover her life back. She plans to continue working at Primavera Foundation and hopes to get into the home ownership soon. I'm going through the situation, but it's going to empower me, make me better. And I'm trying to wear the jacket of if I, I believe in this system, everything that everybody's doing for me is going to help me be bigger and better. While the numbers for adults increased in Pima County, the number of youth experiencing homelessness decreased by 39 percent between 2022 and 2023 according to the point-in-time count and housing utilization report. Hoping to eliminate homelessness, youth on their own is helping youth get back on their feet. Daniela Figueroa is a director of programs at Youth on Their Own, where she has been able to be a resource to youth who are in need. We work as much as possible with housing agencies who do housing assessments to see if that's a pathway for youth to get into housing programs. We have referred very often to mental health agencies uh, to be able to provide those resources. Youth on Their Own serves about 1,500 youth each year. Their mini mall gives youth the access to basic needs such as hygiene products, school supplies, and food items. Just one of the few many resources offered. The ultimate outcome for me is just creating a really safe place where youth can ask for help. In partnership with Youth on Their Own, the Basic Needs Center provides resources for youth who are in college. The resources include clothing, food, and housing. Danny Carillo is a director of Basic Needs at the University of Arizona. Beyond formal resources, there are a lot of just human resources here. Um, there's a lot of people, staff, faculty, even other students, who are really, really invested in making sure that their peers and the students that they serve are served well. If a student is hungry, they are probably not going to do well in class if they're there at all. If a student doesn't have a place to live, they're probably not going to be expected. It's not a reasonable expe expectation for them to do well in a class. The Tucson Pima collaboration to end homelessness vows to continue to help individuals get into more stable housing by seeking new federal funds and increasing community partnerships. I'm Daniela Cáceres and this is Behind the A.